Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In the previous video, we learned that how to find the dynamic similitude between the model and the prototype using the Reynolds model law. In this video, we will learn that how to find the dynamic similarity between the model and the prototype using the Fraud's model law. Fraud's model law is applicable when the gravity force is the only predominant force which controls the flow in addition to the force of inertia. Fraud's model law is apl applicable in the cases where free surface flow occurs over spillways, weirs, or channels, etc. or where flow of jet occurs from an orifice or nozzle. I have been given a question which states that the characteristics of a spillway are to be studied by means of a geometrically similar model constructed to the scalar ratio of 1 is to 25. If the maximum rate of flow in the prototype is 25 cubic meters, we have to find the corresponding flow in the model. If the measured velocity in the model at a point on the spillway is 3 meter per second, we have to find the corresponding velocity in the prototype. And if the hydraulic jump at the foot of the model is 70 mm high, we have to find the height of jump in the prototype. And if the energy dissipated per second in the model is 4 newton meter, what energy is dissipated per second in the prototype? First, we uh, have been given that the scale ratio of the uh, prototype and the model, this is 25. It means that the prototype is 25 times larger than the model. Okay, so scale ratio, which is denoted by LP by LM, or you can write it as LR, this is 25 is to 1. Discharge in the prototype, this is uh, denoted by QP, this is equal to 25 meter cube per second. Let us assume that the discharge in the model is QM. So uh, for flow or spillways, gravity force is the only predominant force which controls the flow in addition to the force of inertia. Hence for this problem, Fraud's model law is applicable. So scale ratio for discharge in terms of Fraud's model law, this is given as QP by QM is equal to scale ratio raised power 2.5. This is the scale ratio for the discharge. Putting values of QP and LR, we will get the value of QM, which is the discharge in the model. So QM, this is this will be simply equal to QP divided by LR raised power 2.5, or it will be 25 divided by 25 raised power 2.5, which is equal to 0 0.008 meter cube per second. After that, the velocity in the model, this is given as 3 meter per second. Let us assume that the velocity in the prototype is VP. So scale ratio for velocity in Fraud's model law, this is given as Vp by Vm is equal to square root of LR. So velocity of prototype, this will be velocity of model times the square root of uh, scale ratio. So this will be equal to 3 into under root of 25, which will be equal 15 meter per second. Next is that hydraulic jump in the model. This is given as 70 mm. We have to find the hydraulic jump in the prototype. Okay, so scale ratio for height or length. This is simply equal to HP by M. This will be equal to a scale ratio, which is LR. So it will be HP, which is the height in the prototype. This will be equal to height in the model times the scale ratio. So it will be 70 into 25 which is 1750 mm or you can write it in meters as 1.75 meter. Next is the energy dissipated in the model per second. This is uh, 4 newton meter per second. So let us assume that the energy dissipated in the prototype is EP. Again, the scale ratio for energy in terms of Fraud's model law, this is EP by EM is equal to LR raised power 3.5. So, uh, energy uh, dissipated in the prototype, this will be energy dissipated in the model times the scale ratio raised for 3.5. So it will be uh, 4 into 25 uh, raised for 3.5, which is 312500 Newton meter per second. This is the value of energy dissipated per second. So if you know the scale ratio for the uh, discharge, velocity, height and energy, you can find the corresponding values for the model or the prototype using the frauds model law. I hope this solution video was clear and you definitely learned something new from this video. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.